Before 2014, if you wanted a compact Mercedes, you had to buy a C-Class. Not very small at all, right? Then came the CLA, and a year later, the Mercedes-Benz GLA class. At last, Mercedes had its first real small cars in a generation, and its first front-wheel drive cars for American buyers. The GLA arrived in the 2015 model year, and for 2018 gets a light revamp. All models, the front-drive GLA 250, the all-wheel drive Mercedes GLA 254 Matic, and the run-and-gun Mercedes AMG GLA 45 4 Matic, wear new front ends, and top off their cabins with new convenience and safety features. We give the GLA a 6.2 out of 10. It earns great fuel economy, but it rides stiffly, though back seat space is better than its CLA sedan cousin. Its taut hatchback profile all but unchanged, the GLA gets a new front end treatment with optional LED headlights and standard LED tail lights. Small arrow tweaks in front, in back, and underneath give it a smoother shape. The hot GLA 45 wears new air intakes and a new front air dam, and standard LED headlights. Almost nothing changes in the cockpit. Power carries over too. Base cars have a 208 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4 and a 7 speed dual clutch automatic. The GLA 45 AMG blasts out 375 horsepower from a Bertune version of the same engine, to hugely entertaining effect. The GLA handles well, but it has a very firm ride that gets more brittle with the bigger optional tires. Odd models can tackle slick roads and even some gravel trails, and have an off-road transmission mode. Inside, the GLA's bolstered front seats give great support, but the rear seats are skimpy on legroom. Headroom is better, compared to the cramped CLA sedan. The rear seat folds down to create a big cargo hold, 